All right, still another video. Got some products here we want to talk about. Uh, shaving products today. Hello, Henry. All right. One of them I've used, the other one I have not used. So, uh, the one I have not used and the camera's still showing everything backwards. I'm trying to figure out how to fix that. But it's gonna be Duke Cannon Supply Company um, Superior Grade Shaving Cream. Smells like accomplishment, barbershop standard. Anything else on here? His barbershop formula shave cream is engineered with only superior grade ingredients. Uh, da, 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 da. The second one is made here locally. It's a shaving cream from Sunrise Artisan um, Artisan Bath and Body. So this is the one I've used before, and we're gonna play with it again and and see what we come up with and everything. I have, okay, I've never shaved with it, but I have used it like in test lathers and things like that. All right, hot water going. Little company here today, that's Larry. Say hey, Larry. Already got a blade in the razor. Went to uh, Myrtle Beach last week and um, got to visit West Coast Shaving Distribution Center, which is a really cool experience. All right, so first one I'm gonna do, this is a synthetic bristle brush is the artisan made and i'm going to lather on top of the puck i've got my camera in a weird spot so bear with me now doesn't produce a great lather like that we'll see how it transfers over yeah it's not too bad feels good feels slick Feel like I'd like a little bit more out of it, you know, like a little more cushion. Um, I had to load it pretty heavy and pretty dry. Like, so I'm afraid water would just dissipate it down. I don't know. We'll see. And a little bit more water so I can stretch some out. Get a thinner, thinner lather, thinner glide, or smoother glide. Yep, that's what Larry says. Okay. Well, let's just change brushes. Just going to use a badger hair brush just because it's literally what's right here in front of me. And since this is the cream, we'll re-wet this side of the face. Oh, it feels good. Take, shake some of that water out. Like that. And I'm just going to take and put it directly onto there. Is what he says. Should be good enough right there. I'm going to start lathering up. I don't know if this is really meant for Oh, that lathers. Not lathering right now. See if I can work it in my hand a little bit. I haven't read the instructions. Maybe this isn't even a lathering cream. There are literally no instructions on it. Okay. Come on, you gotta do better than that. Now I did test lather this one time, but I used a bowl. I'm gonna use that bowl again. This is the bowl, this little silicone bowl. Put some more in there. I probably could literally just take it like this and rub it on and be fine. But we'll see if it'll do something else. All right, so got it in the bowl here. Still not producing a great lather. I had a good lather with this stuff yesterday. All right, that's kind of bucking me a little bit. Huh. That's not horrible. This here's drying a little bit. So, well, let's test out how they do. See if there is any differences in anything. Start over here. I mean, not, not bad. Not, you know. It's nothing really. Not bad, not great. This does feel a little bit smoother. Probably because the lather is a little bit fresher. So what I'm going to do is refresh on this side. And see what kind of differences that might make. 
And I also have some Duke Cannon um, aftershave that I'm going to try too. It's a uh, cooling aftershave ice cold balm, alcohol free. That'll be interesting. Larry had to take off for a minute, and he's back. This is this one. Yeah, I'm sorry, this angle's all functified today. But I think we're gonna survive. All right. Probably could have cut this beard down a little bit. It's a little bit easier of a shave. That's all right. That only time I really shave is when I'm testing out a product or uh, making a video, which is fine. I enjoy it. Recently started uh, using, well, I haven't recently started using, um, been using Duke Cannon products for quite a while, the soaps and everything else, and uh, I'm actually going to start carrying them at the shop for a little bit, see how they do. I think they'll do well. Um, it's a great product. Honestly, for years I thought it was like mm, overhyped, you know, like uh, probably not as good as they're really making it out to be. But it, it wasn't that bad. Uh, I mean, I've been using it for a little while now. I really like the soaps and stuff. The soaps last. They really do. And soaps are probably better than what I've been selling in there. Gosh, for about the same price, you get twice as much soap. It's probably going to last you, you know, longer, even without being the same size. The other stuff, I had some complaints about it. Um, like, you really needed a shower, a soap rack for it. Um, not just set it in the shower, because it, it would, if it's in a line of fire with water, it's going to go away. Simple as that. All right. So that's that. I've got you know, a bunch of other products to, to show you and everything um, that are coming down the line. We're going to do a quick re-lather. Actually, we got to get better use out of this stuff here. This is the Duke Cannon again. Mm, that's not... No, it's almost too thick for my taste. Uh, dude, I seriously had a great lather with this stuff last night. Play with since because you're watching, that's why. But both give a good irritation free shave. Um, I mean, to be perfectly honest, none of them like, oh wow, great. Like, you know, the Duke Cannon I would keep because I can do exactly what I'm doing now. You know, I can throw it in a travel bag, you know, so I mean, it's good for that. But honestly, for traveling, for, you know, quick stuff, just some shave oil or shave gel works. Um, you know, if you've had a beard before and you still got a collection of beard oil, that makes a good pre-shave for your skin. Or even just a shave oil, honestly. Um, I do have some Duke Cannon beard oil that I did try out before I just shaved. I actually really like it. It's uh, not too oily. Um... Not too ungreasy either. Some of them just feel like they're doing nothing. I've had some that feel like pure silicone on you. It feels really weird. Here, Mary. Singing you a song. <laughs> so, anyway, you know, don't throw out your shave oils. You can still use those and everything. Just going to kind of clean up a little bit right here. Uh, that's basically it. I've got, like I said, I've got a list of other things that are, are coming. Um, while, while I've got it right here, I'm going to go ahead. This is not really... This is the mustache wax from Misty Mountain Soap Company. I did several things for Misty Mountain uh, a couple weeks ago. This is the mustache wax. I'll just tell you, it was an epic fail for me. You know, I, I try everything a few times, try to get benefit of the doubt. Here's why. In this chapstick for me, so... Usually when you're using mustache wax, you're going to do, you know, some curls or things like that. Had a client in the other day and was trying to figure out how to transfer this to that mustache. It wasn't working. You know, we, we take and rub a little bit. It's kind of too hard to rub it into the fingers to get some. 
like when you do it directly on the mustache, just enough didn't transfer from there. Um, even you know, when he tried it himself, it just, it was hard to do. And it really didn't, for the work it took, it didn't have enough holding power or styling power to really do anything. So, don't recommend that. That one I do not recommend. Um, it happens, you know. And I don't mind saying what I thought about something because that's how things get better. You know, people see what consumers like or don't like in a product. And just because I don't like it don't mean crap. Some apps may absolutely love it. All right, so this is an aftershave. Smells good. It's a cooling aftershave, but it's not too cool. Feels good. That's that's a winner there. I like that. It says ice cold. I don't know. Shea butter to hydrate. It does feel hydrating. It, and my eyes are kind of watering. It does have a little more cooling in there than you might think. And this is also, I'm going to go back to this cream here and see, like, could you, yeah, I guess you could lay there by hand, too. Because that's good and silky there. Because I feel like you do, you lose, use a lot more this way. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, but it is, that's pretty good, actually. Um, this, I don't know what the cost of the Duke Cannon is. Uh, that came in a bundle of stuff. Um. The Artisan, Sunrise Artisan, a long day, man. Sunrise Artisan is like 10 bucks. Um, for the size, I, I don't know. I mean, for that price, honestly, I think there's better options out there for me personally. You know, is it bad? No. Um, I mean, yes, yeah, support, you know, a local business if you like it, what have you. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Not unless some, you know, modifications are made for it to lather more easily. I don't like it. Does not have a waterproof label. So you know, after a couple shaves, I'm gonna forget what it is, or you have to write on it. Um, but you know, I mean, it, it does seem to work pretty well. Uh, I've got to try to get a better lather out of this Duke Cannon in the bowl here. Just bear with me a minute. Truly appreciate all the support and everything everybody's given. Um, love the interaction, the questions, the comments, things like that. You gonna do something for me? Oh yeah, there we go. Just need a little more product, that's all. Not bad at all. Now, what I'm testing out, usually what I like to do is I'll lather up my hand and my arms and stuff like that. And see how it looks all pretty, thick and white. Well, I want to see how long it stays that way. When the bubbles start appearing, and this one isn't doing it, which is a good sign, um, <clears throat> yeah, that, that's a bad sign. You, it's going to dry out. It's going to dry your skin out. And uh, it's called dissipation. It's going to dissipate and dry out, basically. So, that's all I got. Till next time. I'm uh, trying to think what's coming up next. Let me know what you want to see for sure. I'll see if I can do it. I don't have any uh, new products for any new clippers. I don't have any new clippers. Um, I do like the new clipper, the Mystic, I think it is, that Gamma has on the horizon. I uh, type or keep whatever has one looks just like it. So apparently the way the story goes is the guy in Italy designs them and then sells the designs to these companies like Gamma and Keep Kite, maybe a couple others, and then they get them made. I don't know. That's just kind of what I'm gathering. Don't quote me on crap. We'll see you next time. Thanks.